Welcome everyone to Video Games Monthly Monday. And as always, we'll be using our highly advanced grading system to see just how good this month's box really is. Starting off, we got this coaster, which I may or may not have needed for this box, but let's check out the first game. Super Baseball Simulator, what I assume is 1000, but looks like 1.000 on the Super Nintendo. Yay, a baseball game. As most of you may know, I'm not a sports guy. Sure, I played baseball as a kid as I thought that would make me normal. Anyway, that's not important. How's the game? F if I know, I didn't play it. Now you may be thinking, well, James, how can you review a game if you didn't actually play it? You want me to review it? Okay. It plays like baseball. It kind of reminds me of other baseball games, like World Series Baseball, World Series Baseball 95, World Series Baseball 96, World Series Baseball 2 for some fucking reason. World Series Baseball, you get the idea. I hope you enjoyed my review of Baseball Simulator on the Super Nintendo. As I do with most sports games, I'll give it a C. Next up, we got Virtual Pool 64. I believe this is the third or fourth virtual pool game I've received this year. I didn't realize there were so many different variations and rules when it came to pool. I'm gonna be honest, I didn't spend much time here. Virtual pool just doesn't really interest me. I'd much rather play it in real life and even that is extremely rare. I will say though the graphics are really good considering this is on the N64. If I had been three or four more drinks in, I might have thought I was actually playing real pool on my 32 inch 90s CRT TV. What are you cutting to me for? I'm still on my first drink. The game controls fine for the most part, although looking around feels a bit twitchy. You might be able to adjust that, but I didn't bother checking. It's virtual pool. If that's your thing, you may enjoy it. I'll give it a C. Last up, we got Battletoads on the Sega Genesis? That's right, it's Battletoads on the Sega Genesis. And there lies my primary problem with this game. It doesn't really feel like much of an improvement over the NES version. I mean, the Sega Genesis is the future of gaming compared to the NES. This game seems more like Nintendo does what Genesis can only do slightly better. Anyway, I'm not gonna lie, I'm not the biggest fan of Battletoads. However, it probably is my favorite beat-em-up on the NES, primarily because it functions. Also, I gotta say the newer game was pretty awesome. Anyway, beat-em-ups on the NES just don't feel right to me. Anyone remember my raving review of Renegade? Battletoads, while a functioning game, still has some quirks that bug me, but it's excusable considering the limitations of the NES. I can't really explain what those quirks are, but they exist here on the Genesis version as well. Overall, I'd much rather just play the NES version. I read that the difficulty was tweaked a bit for the Genesis, but I still didn't make it past the Turbo Tunnel. I've never beat this stage, but then again, I've never really devoted the time. With that being said, I would no doubt give the NES version an A. I mean, it's still Battletoads. If you love the NES version, you'll probably still have a good time. But considering I feel like they could have done so much more with this port, I'll give it a B. Well, anyway, guys, it looks like another average score of C. Well, we had a good run. Thanks again for watching, guys. You know what to do. Like, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff, and I'll see you again next time.